Hello, I'm TJ Moses and this is ACM. Your first album should be the greatest album because you've had your whole life to write it. Actually, in the music industry, I started my career as a wardrobe stylist and I would do um, music videos and album covers and things like that. I broke my leg on one of the video sets and that's when I decided to become a songwriter and a singer. I connected with a guy by the name of Paul Pauly and we um, kind of just got a really good chemistry. We shopped around for a demo for about mm, six months and I got a record deal. And during the time of shopping around, people would hear, a rs would hear my music and they would want me to write for their artists and that's kind of how I became a songwriter. I was a single mom um, and financially very stressed, in, spiritually and emotionally drained and I needed to say these things to breathe make this music to feel like I was worthy of something or I, there was something cool in me or something because I just was going down. It was more of like, I had been listening to, my brother moved in with me and he would play Bob Marley all the time. So I've been listening to so much Bob Marley and I was just really in a, a creative space of exposing myself and it just came out really, really, really easy. Since that time I've written for Mary J. Blige, um, Macy Gray, I've written for Kelly Rowland, Raphael Sadiq, I've worked with uh, Nas, I've worked with uh, Rick Ross, so quite a few people. <laughs> so today I'm at ACM and I'll be doing a master class on songwriting, just kind of I guess my perspective on uh, the structure of it and um, what are my tips on songwriting. My first impressions of ACM is that it is really cool space. Um, everyone seems to be very relaxed. It doesn't seem like an institution, which is really cool. And um, it seems to have a lot of facilities that will help the students to be more versed in going out into the industry and being productive. My three top tips for inspiring songwriters is to first really, really, really be good with words because I think melodies are great and because people sing along, but after they stop singing, people should be able to look at your lyrics and read them and, they, and understand them. So I think being great with words is, is a great thing. Secondly, I would say melody. I think that um, sometimes we lose melody in modern music, and I think that um, if you make a great melody, people will sing that forever. And third thing, have fun, always. <laughs> to be nominated for a Grammy was actually very shocking because it was very early on in my career and it was very unexpected, but it's definitely an honor to be put in a position next to the greatest, you know. I think that what, what success I've found in the music industry uh, as a songwriter for me has been based on uh, my authenticity because I am not uh, as much of an industry person or a business person, I'm a real artist. Even if it's uh, singing, performing, uh, writing, I, I stay true to what it is I know. And I think that's what kept, has kept me as successful as I've been.